I want to take people on a journey, really. We took um, the story of Ord um, from the Icelandic sagas um, as a starting point, and I commissioned Linda Buckley to write a piece on her because she spent a lot of time in Iceland and knew a lot about Icelandic music and the sagas and the connections between people. I was really kind of fascinated to find out um, whether we could trace the line of Ord really through um, Orkney um, and into her descendants. Um, and not only that, but we can actually trace that line through across into the Orkney Inga saga and ultimately through to St Magnus. And I just think it's, it's utterly fascinating that we can follow these journeys. I'm Linda Buckley and I'm an Irish composer and my piece is called Odd. Um, and I, I think with Odd, I really connected with the sense of um, strength and resilience um, from her journeying, um, from her bravery, from her also um, courage through times of grief. Um, there was a lot of loss in her life, a lot of sadness, but she really overcame this and um, kind of triumphed in the world and sort of um, became one of the, the most respected women in Iceland. Have it in my mind's eye of like people like Ord coming from Case Nest and just sailing around that and coming in here into Strom Nest maybe. Wonder what made her go and travel on. There's a lot of different theories about that. I mean, yeah. I think she had always intended to eventually go up to Iceland. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the timing of why she she went when she did. Mm -hmm. Maybe she just felt she had her business was done here mm -hmm. and she could move northwards. Mm -hmm. Did you say it was it was a legend that her boat was sort of secret in Kessness? Mm -hmm. So there was a story that she had heard that her husband had died and she was very in the middle of kind of grief mm -hmm. and decided she wanted to leave mm -hmm. and had this long ship built in the forest secretly mm. um, and then planned the journey to Orkney. Mm -hmm. um, but nobody knows why it was so secretive, mm -hmm. really. She just, I think she just had this little plan and kind of wanted to mm -hmm. um, make sure it would come to fruition without telling everybody, maybe. Yeah, or maybe because she was female and people might not have thought she could do it. Also, yeah, yeah. I think that's a big part Possibly. of it. Yeah. And then she sailed on her own? She had a crew with her um, and the crew went up to Iceland. Yeah, Breathe the Fjord. Mm -hmm, that's right. And I wonder how old she was because, I mean, well, I think they reckon she was probably about 50 when she died, but I mean... That was old then, then. It was old, but also, you know, I think from what you gather, she did quite a bit in Iceland after that time, so I reckon she must have been pretty young when she made that voyage. Mm. But I suppose I was interested in that, in the piece, that sense of kind of journeying. Mm -hmm. but also landing. So mm -hmm. there's sort of, you can maybe hear that in the music, that there's sort of landing mm -hmm. points and journeying again, yeah. and landing points. Again. Yeah. Um, and a sense of return and a sense of restlessness, but a sense of peace at times as well. Mm -hmm. That gets erupted, you know. Mm -hmm.